Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be the books I might read in the month of June. So I apologise for being a bit absent in May. Um, I did have an April wrap up uh, filmed. I had to film it in two parts. Um, I'm hoping that um, I can maybe get it up during June for you ahead of my May wrap up. Um, yeah, I just I was just not feeling the editing or any of it in the month of May and I just gave myself a break, gave myself a pass and decided that I would come back to you hopefully feeling a bit more refreshed uh, during June. So, if you've seen the thumbnail, um, you probably noticed there's quite a hefty pile of books on this list. Uh, so I'm going to talk you through them. Now, as always, only a couple of the books are ones that I have to read because they are books that I'm reading for groups I belong to. Um, and that has increased this month. So I am increasing that from two to three. Um, and it's purely because uh, the third one, um, it's a different genre of books that I would be reading. It is a series that I want to read because I've heard nothing but good about it. So let's start off with talking you through those three books first. The first book, as always, is the pick for the Cozy Book Club. Um, that is The Paper Palace by Miranda Cowley Heller. This is, uh, I think it's a dual timeline. Um, it's about a woman who is uh, contemplating the passionate encounter she had with an old flame the previous evening. Um, but also goes back to uh, when she was a teenager, when this old flame was a current flame. Um, but it's about how the story unfolds over a 24 hour period um, and how she's going to move forward at the, the point in, in the present day point of time. She is married. Uh, so it sounds intriguing. Um, sounds a bit like there might be some um, items in there that are from other things that I've read. Uh, I think there might be you might need to have some trigger warnings. Um, I think potentially uh, there is talk of abuse um, in one review that I've seen. Uh, looking forward to picking that one up this month. The second book is the pick for the Literature Book Club and that is Twisted Love by Anna Huang. I've had this book on my shelves for absolutely ages. Um, so when uh, it came up as one of the picks I was really really pleased because I've been trying to get to it for a while. Um, it is best friends, little sister um, trope, romance. Um, I think it's kind of dark, so I think there are um, danger and he's going to get her out of it. Um, he is driven by tragedy, um, looking for vengeance um, and doesn't really have room for romance in his life. So, yeah. Let's, um, hopefully it will be spicy, hopefully it will be everything we're looking for in a romance novel on this group. Um, I will let you all know at the end of the month. High hopes for this one. Um, this is a possible five star prediction, um, but we'll see. And the newest group uh, is a buddy read and this is with Jade over at JD Ray Reads. Um, I'm doing this, uh, she does this with her Patreons, I'm one of her Patreons, um, and she picks a series um, of, and she buddy reads it uh, with her group. Now she has read this before and she's rereading this and others in the group are rereading this and they're more than happy to do it. So I am really looking forward and I think I might just have given you a flash of what it is, but we are going to be reading, um, now the first book in the series is The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. I cannot remember for the life of me the series name. Chorus of Dragons. This is book one in the Chorus of Dragons series. It is about a bard's apprentice, Kirin. Uh, he um, is a thief and he raised the wrong house and ends up marked by a demon. He's uh, then confronted by royalty who claim him as their immoral heir's lost son. Um, but this embroils him in ruthless schemes. Um, escaping is going to make things worse. It's fantasy. 
Um, I I love fantasy anyway. Uh, again, high hopes. Not quite a five star prediction. I have a feeling this is going to be around a four star for me. Um, but everybody, I've not seen a bad word about it um, from the people that I've watched that have read it. So looking forward to picking it up and giving it a try. Obviously, I must have high hopes for it because I have an actual physical copy instead of getting it from the library or from or on ebook. Um, so we'll see how it goes. One series that I know I'm going to be continuing, and that's because I have them all, or they I've got to go and pick them up. But pretty much the last six books um, in the series are at the library waiting for me to collect. And that is the Guild Hunter series by Nalini Singh. The next one I have to read is, is uh, Archangel's Viper. Um, this is going to be finishing, this is going to be continuing. I think we might, I'm not sure if we're going to get continuation of the overarching se se series story. Because we have had that in the last couple of books. We are now moving on to... Um, one of the seven uh if you haven't read this series this book in the series initially starts with elena and Raphael. Raphael is an archangel in present day new york um and elena is a vampire hunter um only they don't kill the vampires what they do in this series is they actually um the, the vampires are made by angels and archangels and they have a hundred years of service. When they go rogue or try and run away and escape and not live out this hundred years of service, the guild actually hunt them down for those angels and return them. They kill them if they have gone into a state of blood rage, um, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, this whole series, there's 60, 15 books in total, I think in the entire series yes 15 books in total in the entire series the first three very closely follow Raphael and uh elena and then from there we then start to move into um their close friendship group um basically Raphael's seven uh and it's all about how they're getting their happy ever afters but while it's also progressing the wider story that was started in the original trilogy uh, I've been loving these books. Um, when I pick them up, I can't put them down. Uh, and I can read them one after another after another. Which is why I've got all six remaining books from the library in one hit. Because I have a feeling I'm going to work my way through these this month. Um, if not, then I should just keep renewing them until I can actually finish them off. However, one thing that is bothering me... Uh, for the rest of the month is that I am building quite a collection of books that I have started and not yet finished and I want to bring this down because it's just doing my head in now um, and I need to sort that out. So I have a few books that I have picked up and that's why it was such a huge pile of books um, and this isn't all of them in the pile because some of them I don't have physical copies of. So I'm just going to talk you through them quickly. I'm not going to make this a huge long uh, thing. Um, they've all come up in previous TBRs. So I'm sure at some point you can go back and have a look at those. Anyway, the first one. Now this is one that I'm not going to aim to finish but I'm going to try and progress a little bit with it. Not quite sure how. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to read a couple of chapters over the weekends um and then see how i go from there but the first one is the silmarillion by J.R. tolkien these are tales from um the creation of middle earth and the creation of elves and the creation of Sil the silmarilli um which are three perfect jewels um for from the elves and it's a precursor um if you've seen um the lord of the rings television series um that they've put on um amazon prime i think this is where some of the story has been taken from so kind of like they've they've this is like it's not a prequel to the lord of the rings but it it's set way way in the the, the historical of that and I think maybe the rings of power falls in between um 
but yes I've been reading this on and off for a couple of years now I just want to make some more progress I haven't picked it up for at least 12 months so I just want to progress in a few chapters and maybe like I say maybe I'll do that maybe a couple of chapters a week couple of chapters every Saturday every Sunday just to keep me going the next one again has featured in many TBRs and that is Lord of Chaos by Robert Jordan I have worked out if I read 33 pages a day of this every day in the month of June I will finish it um, I'm actually 66 pages in already so I could take two days off um, but yeah I think that's what I'm going to try and do with this one is I'm just going to try and break it down into much smaller chunks obviously if the mood takes me and I pick it up and I read a lot more of it because I mean once the story gets going that might actually happen I mean the first 66 pages I've barely started chapter one um yeah this is a chunky book it's almost a thousand pages it's one of the biggest books in the series um I've been stuck on it for about 12 months and I just want to get it finished I just have an itch to read it and I need to follow that itch so off we go hopefully you'll get a good report at the end of the month another one that's been hanging around for a while and honestly Netflix has um renewed my appetite for this story uh because they have all eight films um and i've sat and binge watched them this last week um but that is harry potter and the goblet of fire uh i got stuck um last year i was reading it in the autumn last year uh, which is why there's an autumn bookmark in it and i got stuck and i don't know why i i should be able to i should be able to read these without blinking um because i know the stories they're comfort reads for me um because they are um and i'm not going to say much more than that because i know that these are not really hyped books anymore um and people don't want to hear about them so yeah i just want to get i just i i can i can easily whip through that this one quite quickly so should be an easy finish for me another potential is before they are hanged by joe abercrombie um I was going to try and finish this. It's Bank Holiday Monday in the UK. I was going to try and finish this over this weekend, but um, mental health isn't doing quite so well um, at the moment. Can't really put my finger on why. Just mentally can't settle. Um, and I don't think this book would help if I tried to force myself into reading it. But I'm a lot of the way through. Um, I still have, I mean, I'm two thirds of the way through this book and I still have absolutely no idea of what the plot line of the trilogy is. Um, and I think that's some of the problem with this is that there is no clear where this is heading. Um, we've had the resumption of a war, so we've had a couple of battles in this now. Uh, I'm slightly intrigued by Inspector Glockter's story and progression and where he is his um story arc is going to go but in terms of um Baez and the group that he's got um and the northmen that were with colonel west i've got no interest in them at all and i'm not actually sure if i get to the end of this book that I'm going to finish the trilogy because I just have no desire to even I look when I'm in Waterstones to see if they've got the final book there on the shelf but I'm not disappointed when it isn't there so I really don't know um if I'm going to finish this if I'm going to finish the series these could be and I haven't DNF'd fantasy for a long time um I rarely DNF fantasy so yeah i'm really not sure about this one this is like i say this is just one that i don't know i really don't know and the last one on the physical tbr is which way to anywhere by cressida cowell this was lent to me by my nephew six months ago and i still haven't finished it and i apologize to him profusely uh i have a feeling i need to prioritize this over everything else and just get it read and get it back to him because i need to do a review for the channel um because he's asked me to review it and uh it was so long ago he's forgotten what the other books were that he asked me to review um 
so I definitely need to get on it. Um, obviously, this is about a family with a magical secret, a child with a powerful gift, and a story that is out of this world. Uh, it's um, about a, a blended family. So two of the step siblings have magical powers. The other two don't. Um, they are joined in... Um, they are united by their uh, sister, uh, who they all adore, but when she's stolen, they have to get her back, and the four band together to do that. Um, I've started it, like, like there is, I haven't read very much of it. Um, I haven't even really got to the point where the sis young baby sister goes missing. Um, so, I mean, again, like the Harry Potter books, I should just be able to churn this out um, without thinking about it. it it's middle grade I mean from I'm in my mid 40s this is easy reads for me so and yeah I need to get it back to my nephew so really need to put a priority on this one I think this month uh, I do have others on my e-reader that I've started and not finished I know that those books I am definitely not in the mood for so I'm not going to talk about them here they may come up at another time um but yeah, I just I just want to reduce down this number that I've got in progress at the moment. Now, I know you're thinking that's a lot of chunky books on the list. Um, but, I mean, three of them are already started. So, and one of them I should be able to get through really quickly. I think if I restrict myself with, if I'm really good with Lord of Chaos and keep to those 33 pages a day i should be able to do it i don't know how i'm going to manage that with the ruin of kings um i think that they are most definitely going to be evening and weekend reads and i'm just going to have to be disciplined with my reading this month and i'm just going to have to make myself sit down and read every day and find that carved out little piece of time every day uh when i can get through all of these books and get more read I mean, I'm not promising to finish all those books, to be honest. They're just potentials. Um, I'm just in the mood to get things finished and get things off the TBR. So, yeah, we'll see how I go from here. I'll let you know, all know at the end of the month how I got on. Um, and there will be other updates, obviously, uh, in July. Um, like I say, I apologise for not being around for the month of May. I have some plans for some filming to do this month. Um, so hopefully I can get a few more videos out to you other than just TBRs and wrap ups. Um, I certainly have an idea. Um, I need to do some, my shelves are looking a bit untidy, uh, a little bit full. I need to do some reorganisation. I maybe need to be a bit ruthless. Um, and I just thought it might be an idea to go through that with you. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already and you want to see more of my face on your feed, then subscribe. And I will look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.